What's up everybody, it's Mike and, and welcome back to Made Up Universe. Today we're gonna talk about why we really love Star Wars, what's so special about it, why it inspires us. Coming up! Before we start... What? Do you wanna say it? Go on. Yeah, as he said, pretty much. First, when I thought about this episode, I thought that I'm gonna sit in here and I'm gonna tell you why I love Star Wars. But then I thought the actual title is gonna be why do we love Star Wars. And I, when I started thinking about it, I started thinking about there are so many people out there who love Star Wars and they have so many reasons to love Star Wars. So I thought that, wait a minute, I cannot be just like sitting here and preaching to you why I love Star Wars. And I thought that really I should ask someone smarter than me, some other people maybe. I decided that I'm gonna reach out. Ow! I mean reach out by social media. I thought I'm gonna reach out to other people and ask people who love Star Wars in their own way why they really love Star Wars. Honestly, I've got incredible responses. I was really shocked that I didn't have a lot of them, but I had enough and from such inspirational people that it's really worth sharing with you and that's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm gonna bring several responses I've got from a different people telling us why they love Star Wars. My first tweet is from Wakanda Wonderkid and he says why I love the robots, aliens, planets, spaceships, the force. I think the best part of Star Wars is how much it has permitted and influenced the very nature of fandom. Mainstream appeal to geeks, nerds, discussions and gatekeeping etc. are easily framed through the lens of Star Wars. It's a great response Wonderkid, thank you very much for that and I absolutely agree, Star Wars basically changed the mainstream media and obviously we love all the aliens, robots, spaceships and things like that. And why is that? I think we're gonna get an answer from the next tweet. The next response comes from Brian Young, he's an editor at StarWars.com. Brian wrote it's a modern myth and it resonates with me philosophically, in a way nothing else ever did. Also it's fun. Of course it's fun, it's really, really fun. But there is an important message here, Star Wars is a modern myth. But apart from all the spaceship lightsabers, godlike creatures, what else is the foundation that really makes it a modern myth? To answer this question, we got to go to yet another tweet. Now this is the response from Andy, Andy is a host of Star Wars show and she said It's universal, gets to the heart of psychological, social, cultural drivers and issues in easily translatable and teachable ways and it's flipping fun. Again, getting to all these social aspects, social changes, cultures, Star Wars been talking about this and been about this for a very, very long time and that's incredible how it can reach all kinds of different people from all kinds of different background and it really resonates with them. Thank you, Andy, that's an amazing response, one of my favorite ones, definitely. Another one which I also love, I mean, I, I kind of love all of them because they all talk about something different and something unique. But listen to this one, this one is from Savannah, she's a podcaster, she says, I love Star Wars because Star Wars is love. The story is about hope and family, which are themes that have inspired me since I was a little girl and continue to inspire me today. I love the Star Wars community too. It's my found family and a wonderful place for creators. This is so true. Star Wars is love, Star Wars is hope, and Star Wars is family. It's a wonderful place for creators. I mean, look at me, I'm right here and uh, I'm creating that because Star Wars inspired me to do that. And I made this guy, right buddy? You think I'm just talking about Star Wars as movies and TV shows, but no, I'm talking about real life. And here comes another response from Jen Mary. She says, because experiencing stories that move you like no other franchise does, 
and being part of a community that's like your second family are two of greatest feelings in the world. Some of my fondest memory come from being a fan including meeting my husband in the line of Attack of the Clones. So you can see that Star Wars help build families. She met her husband in Star Wars community and that's, that's just beautiful. This is what we live for, that's why we're creating these communities, that's why we love Star Wars and that's what Star Wars help us do. Another response comes from Jedi Brian, he's a co-host with Savannah Brian says, that's a tough one. I love the Jedi, the aliens, the creatures and the theme that compassion will always be stronger than selfishness. Well, that's an important one, highlight that one. How choosing the light will always win in the end. Also, the idea that even a farm boy can become a galactic hero. Well, to me this is quite important because Star Wars is also about personal growth. How you can go from one place to another, how we can work on ourselves, be a better person. I reached out to one of a well-known journalist. <laughs> A person of um, great intellect and the person I <laughs> really admire, Ash Crossan. Why do you think Ash Crossan loves Star Wars in one tweet? It's space sex. I absolutely like that response, it really made me laugh and it was incredible. And now really the last thing I need to answer is why do I love Star Wars? Why do I love Star Wars? I think that all of the above. It's about love, it's about the community, it's about creativity and it's about personal growth. That is the reason why Star Wars is so amazing to me. And that's it for today. I hope you really enjoyed the positive message of Star Wars and uh, really dig deep into why do we really love Star Wars. And today I've got one really question for you. Please tell me why do you love Star Wars? I want to hear from you. I want to hear why you love Star Wars, what's so special about it, why it inspires you. And if you enjoyed that video, please subscribe to my channel, leave a like underneath that video, it always helps me a lot. And see you next time in the Made Up Universe. <sighs> what, you want some? Of course you do. I know you run on fanboy tears.